policy and went back with my chiefs and my community to then reframe that or reground myself. So that brings me to the uh, project that I'm working on with um, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy Chiefs Council, and that is the traditional governance. That's um, the traditional chiefs of the Haudenosaunee people. Um, some of the chiefs uh, have delegated authority to the Haudenosaunee Development Institute, the group of individuals that represent the chiefs. Um, I work with the chief, represented from the chiefs, as well as representatives from the city of Hamilton. So there's a joint stewardship board that's been formed, and I coordinate that board, I coordinate their activities. And their activities are for joint stewardship of a watershed within the city of Hamilton. Um, it's a very contentious issue. Uh, watershed was just some would say destroyed, others would say disrupted, others would say altered for uh, for a parkway to be put in the municipal drawing and urban planning needs. And there's a long history of um, conflict over that land, but we're five years post construction of that parkway now, and what has emerged through it is a series of framework agreements, economic agreements, and human heritage and archaeological things that we wanted to um, protect and respect. What emerged is a joint stewardship agreement, and that is where the chiefs, the tr traditional chiefs, which is um, not quite novel in Canada because often governments want to look at the elected chief and council to negotiate with, but in this case the Confederacy chiefs are working with the city of Hamilton and they're forging through on environmental monitoring. So we're bringing in our own hood and showing trained environmental monitors to actually oversee some of the work as well. We're working on an environmental master plan for the Red Hill Valley in the city of Hamilton. Um, we're looking at now planning out till 2080. Uh, for the city of Hamilton, that's a long-term planning process. For the Haudenosaunee, it's obviously a quite minor, but it's a step ahead. Um, I just brought this because I leave it in my, my um, briefcase always because it just reminds me of bringing the, the worlds together or the ways together. This is the, the wampum that the city presented to uh, the mayor of Hamilton, the city of Hamilton, and it's to re uh, represent our working relationship and our agreement where we're bridging where we signed the agreements, the formal legal agreements as per the city requirements, but we also brought forth some time ago, um, I, I wasn't part of this, but I now I am the carrier of this on behalf of um, the Haudenosaunee, is the fire of the valley, and this is the law from that guides our guiding principles, and each of these laws represents one of our critical principles that we agreed upon, and we agreed to every time we come and meet once a month with the city of Hamilton and that is respect and trust and friendship. And these, and they're sort of model a condolence ceremony um, of one of the traditions of the Haudenosaunee. So why I brought that is just it reminds me uh, that there are ways, because through all of this, I think we, I continue to come back with how. How do we begin to do this? How do we begin to articulate this? And how do we begin to make change in my research help me to understand these challenges from different perspectives, from the governmental perspective, from the community perspective, from the spiritual perspective, from the perspective that water to some is H2O, it's a chemical compound. there's something to look at on that level, but to many it's the other end of the spectrum, where it is life, it is a living entity, and how 